Good morning. So we arrived last night uh, back home in our villa. So I'm just doing my makeup, but I got inspiration to just do this video. So it's gonna be like super naked. Um, <clears throat> but that's really how I want to do this vlog, so you can see like the real life behind the scenes. So this is actually our bathroom. It's massive, actually massive. Uh, like this. So I think it's like 30 square meters or something. It's really huge. So it's actually kind of bigger than what's my almost like was my apartment was in Stockholm. <clears throat> anyway, um, it went really, really well last night because I was a bit worried. I was a bit worried about the visa. So Jonas got the, uh, the six months, uh, it's called social visa, when we were in um, Darwin. And I just applied for a visa on arrival when I got there. Um, to the airport so that gives you 60 days to be here and I think we both were kind of worried because when we left Bali going to Darwin a week ago they were like super strict they were like why did you stay because we, we were here as a social visa both of us in six months and they were like why did you stay so long and what did you do here and like did you work because you, you're not allowed to work uh, that's the thing so they, they were just not so nice and they just looked very skeptical at us and we, we, we were both like really nervous about that. So when we now were heading back to Bali, we were both like a bit, Jonas is always calm, but, um, but he was still a bit like, what if they, I don't know, like, yeah. So what I did, something if you have heard my teachings before what i always speak about is to set my intention to set your intention so while we were on the plane i was like what would it take for the path to be super smooth when we arrive to the panzer bali airport and what would it take for the path to be really really smooth everything between me and that god please clear us the path to be smooth thank you so that's how I set my intention and I tell the universe exactly what I what I want and what I wish help with. And then I also said like, what would it take to have a super fun experience, like my best airport experience ever when we arrive? Everything between me and I got, please clear, that's rather be smooth. It was so funny, like even when I came, so when I, like first you gotta go to one counter where you, where you buy your visa on arrival, the last time we did that was like eight months ago it was like a long queue now it was like nobody there so the queue there was like no queue so i could just walk straight there fix it and it was super super smooth and then <clears throat> and then she was like yeah you, you can go to that counter over there and and just uh go through with your passport and everything i was like no queue and also there were three men there working like normally in airports you know how they like look super strict and they just look very angry and they just ask you a million questions but they were laughing they were having so much fun and i came there and i was like you look so happy and they were like yeah we we're almost always happy and i was like wow that's amazing i've never seen that before i thought um, and I was like, wow, thank you. This is like, this is exactly what I said my intention because I started to feel super good when I saw them having such a great time. And I was like, yeah, this is fine. And it really felt like the universe were, were answering um, my intention, my question of what it would take to have a really fun experience. And it went so smooth. Also for Jonas, it went super, super smooth. So, and then we arrived here last night to, to the villa and it, I just love this place. It's truly, truly amazing. What I did think about though this morning now. So now I'm in the downstairs bathroom. We actually have three bathrooms in this place, two bedrooms. Uh, so our bedroom is upstairs, which is like a huge master bedroom. And there we have one bathroom. So I went in there this morning and that's the only place where we actually have any kind of view. So I was looking outside the window and I was like, I kind of miss the view from Darwin because here, like when I look out, I just see a, sorry, but a quite boring street. It's like super boring. Uh, so I was like, yeah, that's the only, that's the thing I miss from Darwin. So that, for Darwin, Australia really told me like, yeah, I, I wish for the view. Sorry, they're drilling something outside. Um, so that's the one thing. And today, as I told you, when we were in Darwin, I said that we we're going to move villas today. So we're going to move to the neighbor's villa. Um, which is, it has like, I will film it, 
it has better sitting space so it will be easier to kind of do laptop stuff from there um, and it, it's a different kind of layout as well um, so yeah that is what I realized this morning I was like yeah it feels great to be back but also one more thing that also feels super super great is that I'm so 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 excited because I was worried this is why I want to vlog because I've gone through, through so much inside myself worries and everything and I believe like if you're watching this maybe you're interested in just how the life is as um, an expat or a digital nomad or living the laptop lifestyle or you're just interested in the mindset whatever so this is what I want to share like what is going on inside my head because this is also what I do for for work I work with subconscious mind with hypnotherapy but I realized like some months ago my mind worried so extremely much because I didn't know where to go after Darwin I was like shall we go back here to Bali shall we go somewhere else because I always I also want to go and have a look um, I'm really interested in getting uh, a breast augmentation which I will talk about more later but it's something I'm extreme have been extremely afraid of um, so I thought like okay if I because I found a, um, a surgeon that I would love to go and visit and just do like um, a consultation with because I want to understand what are the risks what are the pros cons and everything I want to make an informed decision because until now I've made a very uninformed decision of not doing it for the last 17 years so but it's still something that I want to do so now I'm gonna go and just get the right information and then make an informed decision after that okay so I wasn't sure like shall I go to Brisbane after Darwin or how shall I do this so it was super super stressful I even called a friend of mine and I was like crying I was like super super stressed because like you have to book your tickets the whole time quite a while um, before well if you're like in my head then you gotta do it quite a way before because I, yeah because of the stress so I was I was not sure but then I was like okay I'm just gonna let the path show me what to do and it will come to me it will be clear and I'm so grateful I did because when it came closer I even said when I had a call with my friend we were talking about it and and then I said like okay universe please if I am if it is a good idea for me to go to Brisbane and do the consultation after Darwin please show me a big massive swan within the next 20 24 hours because swan is like my universal sign and it's not like I'm taking it deadly serious but I know like okay if my mind would have picked up and seen a big massive swan on television or a sign or whatever not it doesn't have to be a like a, a, a live real one <clears throat> then I would have known like okay that's my sign and then I would have felt, felt fine to go but once I didn't see one, one single swan after that so it's like okay I'm not gonna go to Brisbane now which felt as a relief so I know that was kind of the right way for me so then I booked the tickets to Bangkok instead to go and visit my cousin Sarah and I feel so 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 excited uh, so I would go the 30th of October now it is the 7th of September and I'm so truly excited I'll go and visit her and I haven't seen her in one year I haven't done any like massive amount of shopping in one year so it will be fantastic um, but then like I knew so because of the little bit of worry uh, before we entered the airport yesterday I was like okay shall I actually book this Stockholm ticket from Bangkok as well so because I felt worried I was like what if they asked me at the airport what like will you come back to Bali after you go to Bangkok or what will you do and I just I was like if I can show them that I'm gonna go home to Stockholm um, after Bangkok that will make me feel so safe and that will like give me a good energy to send out to them and maybe so for me that just felt good even though I knew like they they're not gonna look for a ticket out from Bangkok because the only thing you're interested in is when I'm going out from Bali but for my own kind of relief so I did book the ticket to Stockholm from Bali so I had to take it to Bali Bangkok Bangkok Stockholm and now I feel truly 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 excited so I did book it last night and now I feel so extremely excited about it because not before I haven't felt excited at all to go to Stockholm I was like just felt like a massive like anxious feeling in my belly because I wasn't ready I wasn't 
it wasn't a good time to go, but now it's like definitely the right time to go. And people have been asking both like Jonas and me, like, don't you miss your families? Don't you miss your friends and everything? And we're both like, no. And, we are, and then we we're asking ourselves or each other, we're like, does that sound really, really bad? But it's not like we're not missing people. It's more like we have been working so much on ourselves, both of us, to feel complete within. So when you miss somebody or you miss something, that means that you're lacking something. That means that you're not complete. And I didn't feel incomplete. I felt complete. But now when I have booked the tickets and I know like, yeah, I'm going to go and see them now, I felt the, the feeling is so extremely different. And so now when I was doing my makeup, I was like, when I arrive, I want to go directly and see my grandmother. Uh, so my mind started to make like this fun plans that feels like fun, that feels like flow. And it is always something that I'm talking about. Um, do whatever feels as exciting to you. Do that is the right way to go. And this is what it actually does. Um, and, I'm, and what I'm thinking now as well is that I will go and see um, a surgeon in Bangkok as well on the trip. So I'll see one in Bangkok, I'll see one in Stockholm, and then I may fly to Brisbane after that and see. So I will do three different consultations because I, I just want to talk to three different surgeons to like understand are they saying the same things? Are they talking about the risks the same way? Like I want to get a big understanding about this whole thing so I can again make an informed decision. So that is what the plans looks for now and I'm gonna keep doing my makeup because we're gonna go out for breakfast. We're going to go to our favorite place I think to do a tiga here in Chengdu where we live. Uh, that's our favorite place like they're always so kind there they're always helping us so much they're always going like extra mile we, we're always changing every single thing we're like extra protein like no banana on top of the um, um, smoothie balls and blah 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 so we're always changing everything but they're so helpful there like every single time we're there they're so helpful so we always go there <coughs> sorry and we always bring our friends there as well so I think they have gained a lot of um, customers because they've been so helpful to us. So we always recommend this place to everybody else as well. So that is where we will go for breakfast. The food is always what we miss. So when we, I'm going to start to fan. Like when we are going away from Bali, the food is, or Shangu in particular, Shangu in particular. When we go away from Shangu, the food is always what we miss. It's like, can we just come back and eat nice food? Because in the restaurants here, they're healthy food. If you know where to go, like there is healthy food. Uh, so the food and the community of like like-minded people, the same kind of age, it's is very very special. What is going on in this kind of community? It feels like a tribe, and everybody has the same kind of mindset, and it's really really amazing. So yes, we will get back to our not daily life today because we're gonna move the villas today. And hopefully I don't see the mice, uh, the mouse, because <laughs> before we left to Darwin, it was a mouse like in my underwear um, box wardrobe thing. And I was like, oh, feeling so disgusted about it. Um, so I'm gonna go and wash my clothes. We don't have a washer in the villas, so we go to places around the corner uh, and do all the washings. And I think I'm gonna talk about more about the lifestyle that we're living here because it's quite luxurious. When people are always like, don't you fancy going back to Sweden? And I'm like, not really, because the lifestyle here is very, very different. Um, the lifestyle here is very, very amazing. Um, the quality, like the value, what you pay and what you get, the value of life is very, very high. But yeah, and I'm going to do another video about that. Uh, so yeah, this was the update from coming back to Shangu. <laughs> Have a great day for now. Bye.